good day friends today is the day that we're watching jurassic world fallen kingdom i'm going to see the movie with milan and it's going to be awesome now milan and i we actually have matching oh i have to look over there i'm sorry i'm very new to using the phone and i just want to look at the screen but the camera's over here so that's weird okay milan and i we actually have matching uh shirts t-rex shirts but mine is in the laundry basket and i don't want to get it out so i decided you know what instead of going with the t-rex i'm going wait how do i show it i'm going i'm just going to wear black ian malcolm style here he is ian malcolm i might take him with me he is so awesome he's going to be in movie uh i just can't wait i can't wait to see the movie so yeah let's go over there and meet milan okay and this is my ian malcolm costume all in black <laughs> And here is Milan, hey. he's wearing the shirt. I wanted to wear the shirt too, but it, it was dirty. It was dirty, Aww. so I couldn't wear it. Otherwise we would have matching shirts. I think the resemblance is striking. I think the resemblance is striking. Okay, here we go. Milan has the tickets. Show the tickets. Uh, Jurassic World. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> it means that it, the name was too long. Oh. It Hi. <laughs> Okay, we're back home, but I think I'm going to need some more time to think about my final thoughts of the movie. Bye! Bye. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day. I've had some time to think about it. Uh, not enough though, but I really want to just do a review as quickly as possible, but I'm going to keep it I'm going to try to keep it as spoiler free as I can So I'm going to talk about like the storyline how this movie impacts the storyline and stuff like that But I'm not going to specifically say exactly what happens in the movie uh, But if you really don't want any spoilers at all uh, then you should just click away and not watch this. So the first thing I have to say is that this movie was very different from all the other Jurassic Park movies. There were a lot of scenes that were sort of similar to previous movies, uh, scenes in previous movies, but it's a very different movie. I mean, it has to be different, of course. You can't just keep making the same movie where there's a park and there's dinosaurs and then it goes wrong and again and again. They already did it a second time with Jurassic World, so they cannot do that a third time, of course. So they're going to have to come up with something new and they did um, what I feel like is that this movie is more like a transition to the it really opens up a lot of opportunities for coming movies basically it takes away that problem that I just said um, that they can't just keep making movies about dinosaur parks and they make it into something completely different they just open up just this whole new thing that they can do with movies in the future also there are some references to the past to like John Hammond and stuff like that which I think it would be really interesting if they would make a prequel I'm not sure if they will do that I don't think they will do that but to me I think that would be really interesting the only problem with a prequel would be that there would be almost no dinosaurs in it so the people sort of come for the dinosaurs I guess so that's why they probably won't do it but I would be really interested to see a prequel where John Hammond meets this guy from the movie and where he meets Henry Wu and people like that I think that would be really interesting to see Overall, I'm not sure if I should recommend this movie. I mean, if you're a fan of the franchise, of course, you're going to already watch it. But I wouldn't recommend it as like a separate movie. Like if you haven't seen any of the others, then you should definitely not just see Jurassic World 2 and not any of the others. Then you should def definitely start with either Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I feel like it's also a little bit darker. It's hard to say because a lot of the Jurassic Park movies have some scary parts in them. And this movie definitely has some scary parts in them. I went to watch it with Milan and he said that some par parts were scary. So if you're eight years old or younger, uh, I wouldn't recommend watching it. But I personally, I don't think it's that bad because it's a dinosaur movie. So some people get eaten by dinosaurs 
dinosaurs, of course. That's just what you're going to get. Apart from that, I don't really know what I can say without spoiling anything. Um, it has some funny moments. They added some new characters and I felt personally... Um, I feel like they didn't add too much to it. They had a very small role and I felt like these characters were there just to be funny sometimes. They didn't really play a big role so I'm not really sure why they added these characters. Um, and I think that's about all that I can come up with because I haven't had that much time to think about it yet. And yeah, I really don't want to spoil too much. So I don't, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about, but I know that the movie's not even out yet in a lot of other countries. And yeah, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So I think I might make a bigger review video if I remember. Uh, but I'm just really happy. One of my favorite parts is that Ian Malcolm is actually in it. You probably knew that if you've seen any of the trailers. Ian Malcolm plays a very small role, basically holding on to what he's always said from the start of the first movie, from the start of the first book. Basically, he goes, this is a bad idea. And that's just what he does again. And that's that might be my favorite part of the entire movie. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the movie for now. I also have another story. Um, it's a really bad story. Um, I'm not really sure how bad it is yet because basically I came home pretty late last night. It was dark. I came back in my backyard. Um, yeah, as I said, it is dark in my backyard. I have this big glass face standing there, which my mother gave me. And I tried to put my bike down and I forgot to put out the, the little foot, whatever you call it in English, uh, the thing that it leans on. Apparently, I didn't put it out all the way. So I basically dropped my bike. I hear a lot of glass breaking. Uh, first thing that I think is that my neighbors must think that I'm a burglar or something because you hear all this glass breaking. I was like, oh no, what do I do? So I tried to pick up my bike, but the handlebars of the bike, they have this rubber on them, right? And it's dark, I cannot see anything, but I can feel that in the rubber of the handlebars there's actually pieces of glass sticking out so I just left the bike there in the dark I took the keys out and I went inside and I haven't looked at it since and there's daylight now as you can see so uh, I think it's about time I go see how bad the situation really is mom if you're watching this I'm so sorry okay I think I'm going to check out how bad it really is I will be right back Okay, please don't be bad. Please don't. Please don't be bad. Oh, I did put the bike upright eventually. Is the glass still in it? I don't even remember putting the bike upright. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Oh, my God. Oh no, oh, look at it, it's, oh, I'm so sorry mother, I'm so sorry, oh my god, oh, what, are you serious, are you serious, are you, it's really in there, it's really in there as well, I cannot get it out, it's glass, I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with it too much, but, oh my god, that's actually, <laughs> this is bad, I cannot even, I cannot use my mic like this. This is, oh no. Oh God. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, wow. So apparently the entire side of the face is just smashed. It's just useless now. It's just useless now. That is crazy. I didn't know it I didn't know it was that weak, first of all, and I thought I, I might have broken like a small part of it. I thought I might have broken a small part. Nope, the entire side is just gone. It's just gone. Um I'm going to have to maybe I don't know. I don't know what I can do with my bike. I'm going to try to pull out the glass, but Glass is very dangerous, you guys. Never play around with glass. Glass is super sharp. Uh, but yeah, that's the extra story, a bonus story to my Jurassic World adventure, I guess. Um, the only thing that's left now is one week from now. One week from now. I think it was the 12th of June. Jurassic World Evolution, the Jurassic World Park building game will be released. I'm really excited because I bought it before it came out so I will get some extra. I think it was orange skins for I think the helicopter and the car 
and I will also get five new dinosaurs because I bought it before it came out. And yeah, I'm really excited to start building my own Jurassic World. They, it says that you can actually choose whether you want to make a park or you can also make a research center. So I might actually make a research center. That's something that I'm really interested in. That's something that I'm really excited about when I read that. You can just make a laboratory. You don't have to make it a theme park. So I'm really excited to start playing that. Next week, we're going to play Jurassic World Evolution. I hope you guys are excited. And yeah, apart from that, I guess, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.